In today's morning rounds, a win for weekend workouts. A new study finds people who squeeze all their recommended exercise into weekends see major health benefits. So-called weekend warriors have a 30% lower death rate compared to people who are not active. Dr. Jordan Metzl is a sports medicine specialist at New York's Hospital for Special Surgery. Good morning. Good morning, guys. How Good are you? you? Good. So what did this find, this, this research, that we could be inactive during the week and yes. then make up for it on the weekends? <laughs> People I, are cheering every day. Exactly. Listen, I am a big fan of exercising every single day. So I, I don't want to take this study too far. I think what this showed was that if you do nothing, that's not good for you. If you do nothing during the week and you do a lot on the weekend, that's better than doing nothing. I'm still a big believer that doing a little bit every day is probably the best thing to do. Yeah, but the goal was 150 minutes a week, right? That's right. The American College of Sports Medicine and the American uh, number of the medical societies talk about 150 minutes per week as the, the really the goal you want to get the medicinal value of exercise. It's two and a half hours. Two and a half hours a week. Well, what about high intense workouts I mean, that, are, that are for 10 and 15 minutes? That's do right. They do the job? You betcha they do. So I'm, I'm really interested in the science of intensity and too. high intensity workouts. And what I found is that kind of compressing that workout into 10, 15, 20 minutes first thing in the morning is tremendously helpful. You can really maximize your benefits. So it's probably about a two to one conversion. So right. if you're doing 15 minutes of high intensity, it's about 20, probably 30, 35, 40 minutes equivalent of a moderate exercise period. I've heard you say that it's the most effective drug in the world, and you just mentioned to Charlie about medicinal. What do you mean exactly by that? Yeah, Gail. So actually, we're doing an interesting program now at Cornell Med School. Where we're doing a thing. It's called Prescribing the Medicine of Exercise. It's a second-year medical school curriculum seminar. I love this so much. And the concept is that everyone knows, like, exercise is good for you. And yeah. if I'm here, like, all right. Our eyes glaze over when we hear that. I don't we blame know you. that already, Jordan. I don't yeah. blame you. But, but nobody I, does it. People are more likely to take a pill than exercise. Yeah, yeah but the, what yeah. Is, yeah. so that's why you say but the issue is the medicinal meaning that if you took the medicine of exercise and you looked at the efficacy of this across the entire spectrum of the human body starting with the brain kind of memory anxiety it's the only drug that's effective against dementia it's been proven to prevent 13 types of cancer cholesterol diabetes it's really the most effective drug we have no side effects it's free and it works for every single person that takes it and so teaching people not to think about exercise as it's good for me, but there's actually a very strong medicinal component to it mm -hmm. is, is really important. And then thinking about teaching doctors of the future yeah. how to yeah. prescribe yeah. it is, I think, more you exercise, the longer you live. Yeah. yeah. Better I than just, taking a pill. And not only yeah. how long you live, but how well you Fall live. Yeah. Life. But I did think it, I think it was helpful to know that if for some reason you're really busy during the week, if you have, that you can make up for it on the weekend. It's not ideal, but it, you can make up for it. That's good. Something is better than nothing. Thank 100%. you, Dr. Yeah. Jordan Metzl.